Welcome. My name is Ryan Lozara. I'm a Senior Solution Consultant at NetSuite. Uh, today, the purpose of this short video is to give you an understanding of the mobile application for NetSuite. Um, the mobile application is oper basically is, is made for the iPhone or the Android devices. Um, and today we are, we're going to take this from the point of view of a CRM individual, customer relationship management, uh, as well as hit on a couple of the points that would affect just your daily, uh, your daily user as far as timesheets and expense reports. Okay, so the NetSuite application, very simple, um, just like any other app on your iPhone or Android device, you're able to, to locate it and you're able to launch it just by clicking on the actual icon. Now, a lot of flexibility in the way that you'd like to view, what you'd like to see. Essentially what this app is doing is it's looking at the way that you've configured your da or personalized your dashboard um, within the NetSuite application, and it brought it up in, a, in its most simplistic form in the application. Now, for example, if I was on the run and I wanted to reorder different things or change the, the look and feel, I can quickly and easily click reorder, switch, and just drag and drop by the lines and click done, and I've just rearranged my dashboard. Now, the, the mobile application is not meant just for operations like timesheets and expenses. It is actually meant for both. It's a hybrid. It allows you to do analytics at the same time as doing operations. So, for example, as a new business person, I'm interested in certain key performance indicators. I may want to see what my commission is going to be based on my, my sales. I want to see my new leads and how they're, you know, stocking up against my previous leads by maybe on a monthly basis. Um, I may want to see all my sales orders. Now, you can see the abbreviated version where I'm showing my first three key KPIs. However, if I click View List, I'm actually able to get a comprehensive look of all of the different key performance indicators that I have standard or that I've created within the application. Furthermore, I'm able to drill into any one of these KPIs and, and take a look at them from a graphical perspective. If you notice, I'm looking at this on a monthly basis. If I wanted to change that, get a more perspective from a quarterly uh, analytic, I'm able to switch that pretty easily. Furthermore, I'm able to change the way the look and feel of these graphs just by clicking um, on the specific icons at the top. Now, moving back to my home page, this is where I'm also going to be have those reminders. So, for example, if I have to approve a quote or an estimate or a sales order, I'm going to be able to see that right here. In addition to that, if I have calls for specific uh, clients that I call on a quarterly basis, a monthly basis, et cetera, if those, that, that reminder or that notification is coming up, I'm going to be able to drill into that as well. So, for example, let's just say that I am a, a sales manager or I need to approve a quote. I can drill into everything that I'm supposed to be approving. If I want to get a better view, I can invert my phone to look at this uh, horizontally, and now I have a more complex view where I can actually drill into any one of these particular quotes or estimates. So, for example, I'm drilling into 1262. I can go into edit mode here, <clears throat> and I can see that the status is at a quote request, but I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And just like that, I click Save, and I am done. Okay, you can see it's moved to Quote Approved, and now if there is a notification or an email attached to that where, where the, the sales rep gets notified or the new business person, they will automatically receive that email or that notification on their dashboard within NetSuite. Moving down, you can see that graphically I'm able to see my entire pipeline um, by, by client summary. So, for example, if I wanted to take a look at any one of these, I could drill right into the graph. Okay, and I could actually change the look and feel of the graph by selecting the icon. So very quickly, I'm able to turn a bar graph into a pie chart and be able to see that Group M is taking up 50% of my pipeline. Um, and ultimately, Anheuser-Busch is, is the, the lagger in my top five. Moving back to the application, the other thing is uh, I want to be able to see specific things like, you know, for example, Maybe on a seasonal basis, I have specific spend for clients that happened last year, and I want to see why they haven't spent that this year. And I could have searches within NetSuite that allow me to identify that. So, for example, if I drill into my seasonal fourth quarter search, I'm able to bring up all of those clients that may have had a specific amount of spend the previous fourth quarter, but they haven't spent it this year. And I can see that venture capital is one of those. Now, I could further nurture that. I can drill into this. I can understand the spending a little bit more and ultimately um, make a phone call find out exactly why they haven't spent this, this particular season. 
The other thing is just being able to understand your timesheets and your expense reports. Being able to do that on the fly and the convenience of having your regular user as well as CRM users or any user in your organization that fills out a timesheet to be able to quickly and easily come in here and enter their timesheet just by drilling on enter time. You, th these forms are specific to what your workflow is. So if you require client product, you require client product job, pro project task, et cetera, you're going to be able to select that and, enfor and enforce that on this actual form. And you can see here, based on putting in a client and job, I was actually forced to put a work code because it became compulsory immediately. So if I drill into my work code now, I can go ahead and select, and for example, let's just say I was working as a design director, I can select that, and then my duration will be the amount of time that I've actually spent on, a, on that particular work, on that work code. Click Save, and now I've basically entered time for the day. Once I'm done with my time for the week, or whenever I need to submit this for approval, I can go ahead and do that. Furthermore, for those creative folks that like to use a timer, we also have the timer right on the mobile device where you can click Start. It'll start recording your time, and then you click Submit, and you won't have to, basically, the, 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 the app will do the timing for you. Then lastly, expenses. Being able to do an expense report, you're on the fly, you're, you're visiting a new client for a new business pitch, and you want to be able to just, you know, I lose my receipts, let me take pictures of them, let me get a log going, and let me ultimately create an expense report. So I click New Expense. While I'm on the fly, I could use a picture from my library, or I could actually take the picture on the fly, and I'm going to say Capture Using Camera. I'm going to invert my camera. I'm going to take a picture of the receipt. This is a baggage fee. And now if I lose that receipt, I have this in my library, and I've created an expense log. This was for approximately $25. Put that amount in. If I need any memo or I need to add anything specific to this, um, and I'm just going to put in this as a baggage receipt to give a further memo to my manager. And if this belongs to a specific category, and we'll just tag this to airfare. I can go ahead and select that. Click Done, and I've just basically started creating an expense log. Right? Now, if I want to see, take a view of my expense log, I just drill on the gray expense log, and it shows me all the receipts and the amounts associated with those receipts in a log. Now, if I want to just go ahead and select one, for example, we just took this one. Oh, this is another one. Anyway, grabbing the, the receipt, I'm able to go ahead and Click Select Expenses to Report, and this is where I actually select. We, just, we did the first one at the top for $25. I select that one, say Create Expense Report, and it automatically now is brought into the expense report. I could have multi-selected if I needed to add multiple receipts to the report. It's going to bring it up, and this is where I'm going to fill out the information that's most pertinent. Okay, I'm going to tag this to a particular client and project. It's associated with a particular task, it shows that the paper receipt is actually attached, I can go ahead and save it. It says at the top, all expenses successfully added. Now I save the, the report. Once I've completed the report, I can go ahead and submit it for approval. Okay, and you can see the submit button comes up on the right here. So ultimately, if I wanted to submit, I can just go click submit. And now it's going to submit to the, the, the approver. If there's multiple approvers and there's a hierarchy in order, it'll follow that approval structure. Or if multiple approvers can approve it at the same time, it'll go to both. Come back to my expense log, back to my home base, and I'm back at the mobile app. So that concludes my short video for CRM and the regular employee user. I hope it was educational. Um, please contact your sales rep with any additional questions or uh, next step.